Hey, welcome to episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. This is a beer I've had sitting in the fridge since I think Christmas. So let's get it done with. This is the last beer in my St. Bernardus mix pack. This is St. Bernardus, obviously. Prior eight. Prior to what? I don't know. 330 mil, 11.2 fluid ounces, 8% ABV. There is a kind of long description on the label there, but who cares? Let's get it poured. All right, so using the St. Bernardus. Uh, Actually, this didn't come with this mix pack. It's that's a long story, but anyway, that is pouring a lovely chestnut brown, as it says on the bottle. Maybe mahogany, I guess you could say. Slightly hazy, but otherwise, you know, pretty clear. You get about a finger of uh, foam on there. <sighs> lovely uh, classic Belgian smell. Very fruity. I would say like kind of cranberry almost like a tartness to it so like cranberry yeah but it does have the usual figs dates raisins the dried fruits i don't think i would say cherry on this one or you know any kind of berry aroma it's a uh, it's hard to pick out hops i'm not sure if this is considered a double or a quad like eight percent is kind of like the dividing line there but uh Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Hmm. Based off the first sip alone, I think this is like more of a double. It's more of a, a subtler taste than a quad. I will say this, the taste on this is much nuttier than the aroma led me to believe because the aroma was like all fruitiness. But the taste, like first, first notice that I got was like kind of like a bit of a nutty, chestnutty kind of flavor. Maybe that's the color is like incepting chestnut into my head. Um, but yeah, then like dates, figs, raisins, kind of like more of the dried fruits and really highly carbonated. Mm. Yeah, that is really highly carbonated. I, like I, th I noticed it like right away. I also like kind of like a, like I said, a bit of an earthy kind of flavor. I mean, that, that nutty character just could be the uh, hops in there. I would say like this beer is, it's it's weird because like, yeah, I'm getting those fruity flavors, but it is not a per particularly sweet beer. Like I wouldn't describe this as a sweet beer, even though it is like a fruity flavor. And the finish is quite dry or maybe clean is the word that I'm looking for. Yeah, this does have those classic you know belgian uh fruity characters and like the yeast esters and all that stuff but it is just not as intense as like a chimay blue or rochefort 10 or 12 which one it is i forget um but yeah so it's like the double is like when you kind of want the flavor of a quad without like that huge abv not that eight percent is exactly a session beer but you know, it's not, you know, all balls out imperial <laughs> like so many of the modern American uh, beers. I will say, like, there's, like, no alcohol presence here. Like, as far as, like, warmth or anything, like, I can tell, like, it's a strong beer. It does have, like, okay, maybe, like, a faint little bit of warmth. But it is also a... It's deceptive because the body on this is, well, I wouldn't say it's light, but it's like medium tops and the carbonation is high. This is like champagne effervescence, almost like LaCroix or Bubbly or Waterloo, like one of those canned sparkling waters. It's almost like that highly effervescent. Although I will say like the, the nice effervescence uh, and the high alcohol kind of like scrubs your tongue clean. Like a Chimay Blue or something might have like a little bit more of a thicker, uh, more robust kind of body and like this, the fruity flavors and everything would linger a little bit more. Like the double finishes clean, <laughs> like bone dry, I would say. So yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of doubles because the double is like so, so close to the quad. It's like, why not just go that little extra and to just get all, you know, so much more. So like even like the world's probably like best 100 point double probably still wouldn't, you know, blow my mind as much as like a 90 point.
quad. That being said, I will say like this is, I mean, pretty much everything St. Bernard's does like not only is to style, but like is a great example of style. And this is certainly no exception. So the prior eight, um, I mean, if we're judging the spec, I think like this would be um, like to BJCP specs. Like this is, and even this bottom holding my hand, I believe this would be like at least a, I think it's probably like in the 43 to 46 range. So yeah, solid A, A minus kind of range. Personal preference, like this is good. It's not great. So I'm going to give an eight to the prior eight, which I think is what I gave to it about 12, 14 years ago. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, like I said, absolute world-class example of style, just my own personal preference. I like it. I'm just not in love with it. So I'm rambling as always. If you watch all the way in, you know, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.